joins us now. Jack, they had to get a wee bit creative in this one, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, you know, Tim, uh, who knew these requirements were so strict? At any rate, in the small town of Belle Plaine, they're not afraid to get a little bit creative with their traditions. And in this case, import, or at least bring back their Irish. In the small town of Belle Plaine, Irish. few days Partying. are bigger than this. Driving the snakes out of Belle Plaine. And don't laugh when you hear this next part. In our family, it's bigger than Christmas. Around here, St. Patrick, not St. Nick, is the guy kids love. And family, you'll quickly learn, can get a bit tricky. You're going to have to leave Belle Plaine to marry somebody because we're all related. Hi, girls. A couple of my nieces right here. Ham bones. Wave your hand on Main Street and chances are the person on the other end hey, how you doing? is related. Heather, that's my cousin. I said, no, that's my cousin. Arguments over family trees are not uncommon. The whole town is Irish. <laughs> and in this Irish town where there's only one whiskey. Even if you don't like Jameson, you do shots. And last names have a common sound. Murphy's, O'Brien, Sullivan, and O'Neill. You never expect you'd have to do something like this. So yeah, we, we we kind of brought him in. Parade Grand Marshals John McPartland and his younger brother Tom are what you could call Irish imports. Import, sure. Import works. The two brothers grew up here in town but have since moved away. Grand Marshal is a very good honor, you know. Only to be called back into service because of a qualification <laughs> almost no one else can meet. You have to be 100% Irish. To be Grand Marshal in Belle Plaine, you have to be Irish through and through. <laughs> John and Tom are definitely that. They're funny, very funny, very funny. A good sense of humor and a strong arm made coming home easy. But to fully understand why the brothers came back, you have to come here. Mager there, who is that? The names on the graves are familiar. Mager, O'Connell, Donovan. And in the plot still settling, a headstone that will soon read, Krolls. Wish she was still here. You know. Betty Krolls, born Betty McPartland, would have loved seeing her two baby brothers lead the parade. But earlier this year, at age 86, Betty passed away. Anyone who knew her, anyone who knows John and Tom, will tell you today was important. Oh, she'd have been really, really thrilled about it, I think so. And on this day, synonymous with so much, two Irish imports felt a sister's love. When you get that feeling, that's all that's necessary to feel, you know. So. She loved them. Yes. And moving forward, there is some talk they may have to drop that 100% Irish requirement. Their grand marshal position typically rotates between the families in town, and Tim sounds like they may have to get creative again next year. I love that story. I think I'm going to take Saturday off next year and go to that parade down there. That <laughs> it's looks fun. Like yeah. total fun. Thanks so much.